Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we'll see how to create collapsible rows in Excel. When you have a large amount of data that runs into multiple rows, it may be a good idea to try and collapse some of the rows so that you can divide the data into sections. In this example, we have data that has subtotals, so it would be useful to collapse these rows and create the subtotals so that it's easier to read the sheet. So there are two ways of doing that. One is to group the rows individually. So for that, I will select the rows and uh, go to data. Under this, I have an option uh, for grouping. So I will select uh, group. And when this is done, I can see that the rows are grouped together and a minus sign appears over here. If I select, if I click on that minus sign, the rows are collapsed. You can see from 1, it jumps to 11. And similarly, I can create other groups like this by saying uh, group. And this gets grouped and I can collapse the rows and expand them as and when needed. So this is one way of doing it. I'm just going to press Control Z twice to undo these uh, changes so that um, we can see the second way. The second way is to select the data, go back to Outline, and under Group, instead of using Group, I'll use Auto Outline. By clicking this, you can see that automatically the groups are created uh, for each section ending in the subtotals. So, of course, this is possible only if there's a discernible, uh, discernible uh, division. Here I have the subtotal, so Excel is able to recognize that these are how the sections are to be created. If I have just a lot of running text, I will just have to manually create this in the uh, method that I showed, showed previously. Here also, this can be, these can be collapsed, the rows can be collapsed, and I can look at just the subtotals. And whenever I want, just expand the section I want to examine. This is how to create collapsible rows in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.